everybody, I'm Gus with Crimson Education. So you've heard of the Ivy League, right? Harvard or Yale. It's Ivy League. Ivy League, yeah, one of them big joints, you know? They're like the cool kids in the cafeteria that are all over 150 years old, so they don't need any new friends. But the Ivy League are just the oldest schools in the US. The Ivies are exceptional schools. Some would say the best in the world, but there are plenty of challengers outside the Ivy League. So today, let's take a look at the top 10 colleges that are not in the Ivy League in the USA. Number 10, we got Williams College in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Williams is famous for being ranked as the number one liberal arts school in the United States and being located far away from everything else that isn't Williamstown. Williams is the smallest school on our list with a total student population of about 2,000 students, meaning that each grade has about 500 people in it, which is smaller than some high schools. You get to know your classmates pretty well, especially since Williams has a famous tutorial system where sometimes two students will take a course with one professor. It's really easy to be in the bottom half of that class. Number nine, we got everybody's favorite, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT as the cool kids call it. MIT is famous for being an engineering powerhouse, teaching its students not just how to think, but also how to build, literally build things like robots or flying bicycles or flying robot bicycles. It has an acceptance rate of just under 8%, which any MIT student could tell you is pretty low. Being the stereotypical, really smart person school, MIT was featured in the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron as Tony Stark unveiled his memory machine thingy. Spoiler alert, MIT rocks. Number eight brings us to Duke University, located in Durham, North Carolina, known fittingly as the Ivy of the South. Or maybe the Ivy League is just the Dukes of the North. I don't know. Duke is even more selective than MIT when it comes to admissions rates, and Duke has the benefit of not experiencing Boston winters. Duke also has some of the best sports teams in the nation, especially when it comes to basketball. So if you're over seven and a half feet tall, you should try it out. Duke also has a very pretty campus if you're into looking at trees and stuff that are not covered in snow. All right, number seven is Johns Hopkins. Located in Baltimore, Maryland, close to Washington, DC, a lot of people have heard of Johns Hopkins Medical School, probably because it rocks and is one of the top three in the nation. But at the undergraduate level, Johns Hopkins is known for its intense research opportunities, which attracts students who want to go into STEM fields. It also has this cool program that lets freshmen take all of their classes pass or fail in the first semester, so you can get used to college life without the stress of grades and can take the really hard classes without getting crushed. Or, you know, take the easy classes too, I guess. Number six is Northwestern University, located north of Chicago in Evanston, Illinois. Northwestern has some of the best humanities programs in the country, especially journalism and theater, producing alums including Stephen Colbert, David Schwimmer, and Zach Braff. They were actually all roommates. I'm just kidding, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Number five is the University of Michigan, located in Ann Arbor, Michigan. UMich is a public research university, and it is a big, big school. About 60,000 people applied to be in the freshman class last year, and UMich has almost 30,000 undergraduates, making it about 15 times bigger than Williams. The University of Michigan also has one of the largest alumni networks in the world, including Google founder Larry Page. Number four keeps us in the Midwest with the University of Chicago, or UChicago as the cool kids say. UChicago is known for being super unusual, starting with its bizarre admissions essays. Most schools will ask you to explain why you want to study with them, but UChicago is asking hard hitters like, where is Waldo? Find X and write an essay somehow inspired by super huge mustard. UChicago is very quirky and has one of the best economics programs in the nation. Coincidence? 
Okay, we are entering the top three with UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley is known for being more than the number one public university in the US. It's also famous for its long history of student social activism. Berkeley is right next to San Francisco and Silicon Valley, making it a popular choice for those interested in tech. West Coast continues to dominate with our number two non-Ivy League school, Caltech. Caltech is like MIT with a heavy focus on STEM, but with less snow and more palm trees. It also has a similarly super low admissions rate with only 8% of applicants being offered admission. But the lowest admissions rate on our list goes to our number one pick outside the Ivy League, Stanford University. Stanford is in Palo Alto, California, has super mild weather, and some of the highest ranked academic departments in the country. And Stanford accepted only 4.8% of applicants in 2016, lower than Harvard and Yale, and basically everyone else. Well, that's our top 10 US schools that are not in the Ivy League list. If you disagree with our selections, please feel free to make your case in the comments. And if you want to learn more, send an email to info at crimsoneducation.org and mention this video. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to get updated when the next list comes out, then just gently tap that subscribe button. Again, I'm Gus with Crimson Education. We'll see you next time.